in that dungeon, in the midst of your trouble, in the midst of your disgust. It was not your mother, it was not your daddy that brought you out of that stuff, but it was the hand of God that thought enough of you to look beyond your faults and see your needs. You were messed up, tied up, tangled up on your way to a devil's hell. Your life was in a shambles. You were miserable. You didn't know which way to go. You had nobody to help you. And the company you were keeping were keeping you messed up and tied up in that stuff. But somehow or another, if I can let you testify, and you wasn't ashamed of what God did for you, and wasn't afraid of how people would hold it against you, you can stand up on this mic and tell the whole world that if it had not been for the Lord who was on my side, where would I be? I would be lost down in the dungeon. You were functioning, but you were still hooked. You were working, but you were still messed up. It was the hand of God that lets you keep working and got you delivered before they found you out and fired you from your job. You got no right to look down on somebody that lost their job, lost their health, lost their income, lost their good sense, lost their health, and were down in the dungeon. You ought to be the first one to be like the man that saw the man wounded lying in the street the priest walked past him they walked past and looked at him went to the other side but a samaritan a man that was considered nothing considered nobody the scum of the earth religiously speaking they thought they were nobody but the Samaritan saw the man wounded, picked that man up, patched his wounds up, put him on his horse, and took him to the inn, fixed him up, fed him, then told the innkeeper, here's some money, take care of him, and if he did anything, if there's any bills left over, put it on my account. When I come back, I'll pay you in full. I stop by to tell you on this Sunday morning, whatever your dilemma, whatever your situation, you're in the right place at the right time. God will deliver you. There's nothing that God cannot do. There's no habit that the Lord can't break. There's no mountain that the Lord can't move. There's no disease that the Lord can't heal. There's no dilemma that he can't bring you out of. God is able. Have I got a witness here? I know he's able. The devil don't want you to get your deliverance. But the devil is a lie. You're in God's house. If there was no deliverance for you, you wouldn't be here now. But because there's deliverance, because there's healing, you're in the Lord's house. Your healing is here right now. Your deliverance is here right now. Got a witness here. Tell somebody I am delivered by the power of God. Oh glory. It's been rough. I got a testimony. Somebody under the sound of my voice. There were mountains. There were valleys. There was trouble in your life. But the hand of God looked beyond your fault. The hand of God picked you up out of the miry clay. The hand of God delivered your soul. The hand of God gave 
give you another chance when justice demanded your death when justice demanded retribution when justice demanded retaliation when justice demanded your life it was grace and mercy that stood before God Jesus stood before God and said Father give them another chance whatever they're wrong I'll pay the price put it on my account whatever their situation put it on me whatever their dilemma put it on me whatever their sickness put it on me my Bible is right I've got a party I've been pardoned I've been forgiven I'm not on parole but I've been pardoned Jesus gave it to me he paid the price paid it in full when nothing else could help when the blood of bulls the ashes of scapegoats fell to appease God it was Jesus the Lamb of God Jesus the lily of the valley Jesus my rock and a weary land when nothing else could help when nothing else could help Jesus paid it all after my say he paid it all I'm 
I'm in the same boat with Abraham and Jacob. Said, who can we get? David said, I'm sorry. I can't help you. I did wrong myself. Said, who will do? Can I get anybody from behind the throne? Came a lamb that was slain before the foundation of the earth and said, Father, prepare me a body. Father, let me go. Father, I'll do it. Father, Father, I see the drug addict. Father, I see the street brother. Father, I see the liar. Father, I see the backslider. Father, I see the thief. Father, 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 let me go. That's a man to tell him Jesus paid it all. Jesus paid it all. there's somebody that don't know you've been pardoned you have been forgiven if you're in this building right now it's your opportunity to come to this altar give your life to God make your way down this aisle I don't care how long you've been in it. Jesus paid the price for your freedom. If you're in this building, I invite you to come to Jesus. He'll give you a written pardon and set you free. And he whom the Son sets free is free indeed. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. If you're here, come on right now. Come down the aisle. Get out of your seat. Come on, get out of your seat. Make your way to this altar come on come on somebody come come hallelujah heal was you are there and the snow somebody else in this building come on to this altar I know you're here you're here you're here come on up now come on come on don't hesitate you've been wrestling you've been dealing with this situation you felt like there was no hope but today is your day you're going to be free today. 
I've got the decree right here. You're free today. Walk down to this altar. And let me give you your pardon papers. And you can show them wherever you go. And let folk know that you've been freed by the power of God. Come on, somebody else, somebody else. Somebody else, somebody else. Don't leave here the way you came. Walk out of that pew. Make your way to this altar and rejoice in your salvation. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. Somebody else, come on. No longer bound. No more chains holding. It's just a blessing Praise the Lord Hallelujah I'm free Come on, somebody else needs to come I know you're in here I'm free Praise the Lord, I'm free, no longer bound, come on, come on, no more chains holding me, it still is resting, it's just a blessing. Come on, y'all ought to help me say that. Come on, tell me I'm free. I'm free. Praise the Lord. I'm free. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. Come on. Just a blessing. Maybe there's somebody say, Well, I'm already saved. I just need to be a part of this ministry. If you're here, come on down now. Come on. The Lord has spoken to you to be a part of the ministry come on now praise God a whole family come on Lord change holding me and hold it resting come on somebody else somebody else come on come on Somebody else, somebody else. Come on, come on now. You're free now.
shake their hand. Come on, welcome committee. Welcome them in. Take your seat for five minutes. Don't anybody leave. Don't anybody leave. Mm, my soul. No longer bound. No more chains holding me. So all is resting. It's just a blessing. Oh. Just wave your hands for Jesus. Let me ask you something. How many of you all feel like the Lord has really set you free? And you know it was the Lord that did it. Put your hands down. Now, I got to see this in reality. No change. You really feel like the Lord has set you free. Raise your right hand and declare your freedom. Holla, I'm free. I'm free. Clap your hands and praise God for your freedom. Hallelujah. I'm free. When you're free, you act free. When you're free, You've been bound. You got a smile that's automatic. I mean, you can't help yourself. You're just smiling from ear to ear. Now look at somebody. You can tell if they're free. Don't say nothing. Just look at them. Now, if they didn't smile, they ain't free. They still messed up. If they free automatically, they can't help it. They can't help it. Have you ever looked at some folk and they just be staring at you? Just staring at it. And if their eyes could talk, they would just, just tell you off good fashion. And they just be staring at you. No smile, no nothing, just staring. And then you look at them, and you turn around and look at them, and you're so full of love, you look at them, and you know they're looking at you like that. And you just look at them when you know they're looking at you. You just try to look at them and say, bless you. <laughs> and when you do that, if they got the wrong spirit, they'll quickly drop their head and act like they weren't looking at you. And look the other way, you know that's the devil. Then what you ought to do is get their attention. And then when they look, say, bless you. Give them something to talk about. Don't never give them evil for evil. Eat them up with love. 